Now, senior ruling party lawmakers and top government and Blue House officials have been discussing South Korea's decision to conditionally extend GSOMIA, its military intel sharing pact with Japan. During Friday's meeting, they agreed the decision was appropriate and timely and vowed to work together until Tokyo withdraws its trade curbs against South Korea. They stressed that efforts to develop the nation's competitiveness in manufacturing, industrial materials, parts and equipment should continue, saying similar incidents could happen again. They also pledged to keep holding talks with Japan to resolve the dispute on compensation for Tokyo's for, uh, wartime forced labor of Koreans.